Arkansas hates Texas more than they like themselves. Those famous words from Joe Tessitore became the talking point for Coach Sark and his squad this week. But for guys like Jade Barron, the only motivation they needed was their memory. According to reports, Jade was repeating 2021 before running onto the field today. That year was the last time Texas was in Fayetteville. This time around, the outcome was different. Number seven was a big reason for that. He helped jumpstart the offense with this defensive play, showing off his concentration skills as he grabs his SEC leading fourth interception this year. Every week, the Jim Thorpe Award looks like it's coming back to Austin. Now that turnover led to points. Gotta love complimentary football. Matthew continues to shine like his last name as Golden scores a touchdown in his third straight game. Now the defense, had Taylor Green running for his life like Ricky and Boys in the Hood. The Razorbacks only had a total of 74 yards at halftime while putting up a goose egg on the scoreboard. But things got sticky in the second half. Former Longhorn Jaquindon Jackson cut the lead in half after this short touchdown run. And then next possession, Arkansas kicks a field goal. And just like that, these boys messed around and made it a three-point game. But I tell you what, if I ever get locked up, I know who to call. This Texas defense is going to bail you out every single time. Alfred Collins forces a fumble, then Michael Taft recovers it. Love seeing the 5-1-2 boys making big time plays. So now Texas has a chance to put this game away, and it's a golden opportunity. Perfect pitch and catch to the U of H transfer. And watch the DB, though, try to get in Matthew's face. Buddy, you just allowed the game ceiling touchdown. You better sit your butt down. Long going to escape Fayetteville 20 to 10. Here's Coach Sark on the mic explaining why this wasn't just another win. Um, those are the moments that you love, you know, like I told the team in there, like, don't let these moments go by without taking it in because these are the, these are the memories that are gonna last a lifetime. And they're gonna remember being in that locker room today. Um, especially the guys that were here a few years ago and what that felt like. So um, we were, as coaches, we're the same way. We had to walk off that field a few years ago too with, with uh, you know, thousands of people on the field running around us. 